Have you ever played nine ball and been thrown in jail by your opponent? Well, in this episode, I'm going to give you your own personal get out of jail for free card. Stay tuned, guys. Hello, I'm Master Instructor Anthony Beeler, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Do You Want to Play Like a Pro? This week, we're up to over 6,000 subscribers, and we're on our way to 7,000. In just a few weeks, we're going to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers, and we're going to be having our big giveaway. Don't forget to go to PoolTeacher.com and register for our big giveaway event. We're gonna be giving away cues. We're gonna be giving away a ball set signed by world champion Nick Varner. We're gonna be giving away shirts and caps and jump cues. And we're gonna be giving away books and pool lessons and much, much more. So be sure to go to my website, poolteacher.com, click on the form that says YouTube giveaways and get registered for our big event that we're going to be having in just a few weeks. In this video, I'm going to show you my own personal three rail spot on the wall kicking system. I use this system all of the time to get myself out of trouble. It's like having a get out of jail for free car. So I'm going to show you this system. And the reason that I use this system is because like all the rest of my kicking systems that I've shown uh, in this weekly series, this system is very simple to use. It's easy to calculate and you can count on it when the going gets tough. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to calculate it. And uh, what you need to do to begin with is you set the cue ball out of the corner coming straight from the back of the corner pocket. And what I like to do is I like to start off by counting up the diamonds, one, two, here's my three. I aim halfway between two and three. So right here is where I would aim. And on most days if I aim there and hit the shot with a medium speed and running left English, then usually the cue ball will come pretty close to three in the corner. I was a little bit off there. I came a little bit short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim down just a little bit further down than halfway and then I'm going to try it again. Again, medium speed, normal left spin, and I hit the center of the pocket. So today, uh, given the conditions, uh, uh, you know, the humidity, the amount of moisture in the air, all these things play a, a, a difference uh, when it comes to the playability of the rails. And so instead of hitting halfway between two and three, I'm going to shoot at two and a quarter up. And that's going to take me three rails to the corner just about every time that I shoot it, provided that my spin and speed are consistent. So now that I know that two and a quarter takes me three rails to the corner, I can just set my cue down from the corner and aim it at two and a quarter. And then I'm going to draw an imaginary line from the, the shaft of my cue to a point on the wall. I'm going to find something that, uh, you know, maybe it's a sign, maybe it's, uh, a letter on a sign, maybe it's the, uh, the woodwork in a building, or the, the main thing is you don't want to pick out something that could be easily moved, like a cup, you know, sometimes people will be uh, eating uh, at the pool room where you're playing, and they might have a cup there, well, they may take, pick it up and take a drink, and then your spot has been moved, so whatever spot that you pick, you want it to be stationary. And so, as I'm looking at this in the room here, what I am seeing is I've got a Brunswick billiard sign. And the B in the word Brunswick 
is going to be my spot. So now no matter where that I'm at, I should be able to place the cue ball on the table and aim for the B in Brunswick. And I should be able to go three in the corner. Even if I'm down here somewhere, I can still aim for the B in Brunswick. And the cue ball will still go three rails to the corner. With that being said, what if I've got a ball that's right here that I want to kick in? Well, if I've got a ball that's here that I want to kick in, all I have to do is come back to the... Uh, the B in Brunswick, and I'm lining my cue up with that. And because that this ball is one diamond shorter, then what I have to do is, this is my line that goes straight to my spot on the wall. What I'm gonna do is, it's lined up to right here on the rail. To, to come up a diamond, I have to move up one full diamond. And so if I hit it there, Running left English and a medium speed. You'll see I can kick that ball in. So what if I've got a shot right here? Well, instead of going shorter, I have to move my aiming point longer. So what I would do is I would line up here. I'm gonna find the B in Brunswick, line up to that. Again, I'm aimed right at the halfway point to kick and make this one nine. To go longer, I've got to, to move one diamond this way. So if I'm halfway here, I've got to move halfway up here. Again, a medium speed. Left English. The same speed, the same spin that uh, I struck all the other shots with. you'll see I made the combination. Sometimes you'll be playing one pocket and uh, you need to kick and go on the short side of the, the ball here. Well, to do that, all we have to do is go back to our B in Brunswick. We're gonna aim at the B and then we know that takes us three rails to the corner but we don't wanna go three rails to the corner we want to come up from that just a bit. And so what I would do is, uh, I would aim a half diamond up. So I'm gonna switch to about right here. Again, normal left English. And then I'm gonna kick and hit that ball. Okay, so now we're gonna try to kick it in. We're gonna aim at the B in Brunswick. Then we're gonna come up a little over a ball's width, try to kick that ball in. Left English, medium speed. You'll see that's right on the money to kick it in. But this is a great system to learn. The main thing that you've got to remember is if you need to go to the end rail and kick long, then you're moving you know, towards the corner. But if you're wanting to come short, you're going to move your spot on the wall line back up towards the side pocket. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Do You Want to Play Like a Pro? Well, I certainly hope that this lesson on the three rail spot on the wall kicking system will be useful to your pool game. You know, I've used it many times in tournament situations to get out of jail for free. You know, there's nothing better than having a get out of jail for free card. And this system will get you out of tough situations in all sorts of games. You know, I've used this system in eight ball, I've used it in nine ball and in one pocket. The fact that you can closely monitor where the cue ball is going to go without having to use calculations is very powerful. 
So take the time to practice this lesson and implement it in your pool game. It's going to pay big dividends. I know it is. So practice the lesson and your game will improve. Be sure to go to my website, poolteacher.com, and register for our big instructional event that we're going to have here in a few weeks. It's our big giveaway. You know, whenever we reach 10,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away all sorts of prizes, and you don't want to miss out. So be sure to go to poolteacher.com, click on the button that says YouTube Giveaways, and get registered for all the wonderful prizes that are going to be given away in just a few weeks. So thanks again for watching, guys. I hope everyone has a great week. Be safe, and we'll see you soon. It's just one of those amazing classes that uh, you can never forget. It's one of those classes that can really get you going where you want to go with the game. It's the best online course on pool out there. It's been really cool working with Anthony from home. I've already learned so much. I love the course, it's easy to use, and available 24-7, which fits well with my busy schedule. Luckily, I stumbled upon Anthony Bueller's online courses, so I signed up, and within three or four months, my game had improved dramatically. It will definitely improve your game. When I did go back to the regional tournament, Finally, after seven years, I got first place. They bumped me up to the next division. I went back the following year. I got first place in that division, the first year. I can't say highly enough how much Anthony's courses have helped me, and I have no doubt they will help you too. If you do have any questions, he's available on the phone calls. He answers your questions very quickly. Uh, someone asked me about Anthony Biller's virtual bigger academy class. Go all the way.